So Konosuba is finally back. Season 3's first six episodes are out and I want to talk about them because I'm so happy that Konosuba is finally back and these first six episodes have been really really good and I just want to talk about like how exactly they've been adapting volume six of the light novels because in my opinion they've really been doing a good job but I just want to go over everything because these first six episodes have been hilarious and it's just nice seeing all of them back together because that I can't lie that spinoff from last year kind of wasn't hitting like that but I'm happy we finally got the whole gang back together and we're finally getting to see a lot of these light novels finally being adapted and they're actually being adapted well because i mean konosuba for the most part they've always adapted the light novels pretty well because each season has always been two light novels per season because that's kind of how you should do it unlike you could say some anime that want to shove like three or four light novels into a 12 episode seasons of classroom of elite but i'm not talking but let's just talk about konosuba and how the first six episodes have been and comparing them like to the light novel from volume six if you guys are new around here or if you've been following me for a while you know i covered all the light now it's light novel 6 all the way to 17 like everything that was after season 2 and the movie so i covered all those and i just want to talk about like light novel 6 and like how they've been adapted in the anime because in my opinion it has been pretty good though now when it comes to episode 1 of season 3 it actually did something very interesting and dope is that they actually did do a lot of anime original content in there especially when it came to like the one plant monster girl because originally that scene was supposed to be like in light novel 5 but it was cut out the movie so essentially they brought it over into this season to give us like a like starting point because in that first episode you have Cosmo talking about like how he wants a little sister and you have all of them coming back from the Crimson Magic Village because that's originally what happens in Light Novel 6 is you have Cosmo talking about coming back from the Crimson Magic Village and like how he's talking about wanting to have a little sister but they added that little extra scene there to give it a little you know oomph that we can be like yeah we're finally back so that was dope that we got that scene because we didn't get that originally in the movie and we actually do need to know about that monster because later on there's going to be a queen of that monster and there's a whole scene between her and Cosmo that becomes very important in the series that I'll say that happens later on but yeah it was important that we had to see that creature that we can know what these creatures are and like why exactly Cosma has beefs with them because he has a lot a lot of beefs with them and it's kind of funny and also we saw like how their true nature is and that their true nature is they basically lie that they can get somebody there they can basically you know drain all their energy and all their life force that they can basically feed and we see like how they normally are they be talking shit and that's why you had Cosma come back and he was all sad and, and it was just funny so I was happy we got to see that now when it comes to all the rest of the episodes I'm not about to go like by episode I just wanted to talk about episode one because that one had the anime original content in it, where the rest of it i'm just going to talk about if they included all the stuff that was from the light novels that was important though so the, some of the most important things that we did get in here is we did get the scene of like cause of them going to wizard shop yes we had van Nier and aqua beefing and all that but we also did get cosma getting that mask which is very important for later on and we also got to find out that oh the princess is coming and we see that darkness is freaking out she comes to darkness's house and that's when you have like cosma and all of them just looking cosma just like oh a real princess and eventually you're gonna have it to where she's becomes closer with Cosmo and then transports him to the castle and then when he gets to the castle that's when that man starts acting a goddamn fool because I mean because him and Iris they get the bond and all that but at the same time you have Cosmo taking advantage of shit one having a butler literally having a maid in there to clean him up that he can look at her I will say I think they did kind of not show a scene where like him, him and the butler because him and the butler become really really close I'm not sure if it's this volume or the second time he goes to the castle because he does go and stay at the castle in another volume and I can't remember which volume is but I just know while he's there he annoys everybody but him and the butler were really close because the butler even talks about he's like yo Cosmo I brought you the maid that you like that she can go clean something on the top that you can see like upper skirts so yeah there's wild stuff like that that I feel like they might have cut out but at the same time that could have been another volume I'm not sure exactly but we did get the stuff where like darkness and magnum and aqua and all of them show up and we see like how they are like yo you've been living like this so we got that stuff that was good we got the party the big old party that gets thrown and you see aqua of course getting drunk and that's one of the things i love about this season because aqua's been getting drunk drunk and i'm like yes because if anybody knows anything about me my discord picture has always been like the one of like aqua i forgot what episode it is but it's the one when they're eating all the crab and all that and like aqua's holding the you know the the big old wine bottle so like there's stuff like that i like that we're getting so many different scenes this season that we have aqua with different bottles because i'm just like hey i can use all these different pictures for profile pictures because i love when aqua's got the henny in there you know when aqua's holding the henny so yes i'm just happy about that but yeah we got those scenes and you know at that party that's when cosmo's like oh i will catch this thief because you know cosmo he wants to like show off and all that act like he's actually good and glow and all that that he can act like he's actually important and all that but you know they end up going to like the fat noble guy's house then they did show the scene which i'm happy about that had him and cosmo fighting over the mirror about who can look at this mirror to see like basically the other side that shows like the women's bathroom and then you had darkness catch them and that was funny and then eventually you do get the scene of like 
like Cosmo like finding Chris and find out that Chris is the noble thief that's been going around the capital and we do get to see the thing where it's just like Cosmo why did you get tied up you didn't even have to do this you could have just said you were the one making noise because nobody even saw Chris so it was just funny so you know you have the scene that he basically just sets himself up for failure and then after that that's when we get the battle I will say the battle was okay but I feel like in the light now it was a little bit longer I feel like we got to see more stuff where in this one there were some cool stuff I mean we did get to see Aqua basically spit on people and bring them back to life which was fucking hilarious so I will say we got that but I do feel like the battle in the light now was a little bit longer and I feel like we saw a little bit more stuff at the same time this did give us everything we needed to see we saw Cosma filling himself after he took out the one cobalt but just for him to go to the cobalt again and then get packed up which was so goddamn funny he goes to Lady Eris and that's when we do learn about the sacred treasures which was something that was really important because volume six introduced us to like the actual sacred treasures and we learned like what they actually are because you know in episode one we have aqua going over what they are what cosma could pick but this one we actually get details about one of the things that lady airs tells cosma is that iris has a sacred treasure that allows you to switch bodies with somebody and that's when we get the wild scene that i'll say they most definitely improved in the anime compared to the light novels we get the scene where cosma and iris switch bodies and we get the bath scene between darkness and claire and boy i will say they are looking thicky icky i'll say in the light novels darkness was looking thicky in the picture that it's shown but hey they went more in depth because like i always say the i'll say kona super has a better anime adaptation than its light novels because i feel like there's a lot of stuff in the light novels that hit different when it's in the anime either from the fan service aspect or just like the comedy because i feel like the comedy hits a thousand percent way harder in the anime compared to the light novel so i'm happy we got this stuff because that was funny happy we got that because i was just like hey adult women hey i'm not mad because you know darkness and claire they both adults so i was like hey yes yeah, show them all in their thickness and glory because they are adults so i was happy about that that they adapted that scene amazingly and then we got one of my favorite scenes from this light now was when cosma is crying because he gets because everybody's just talking about like oh you're useless and you didn't do nothing in like the battle with the demon king army so like you know he's feeling all sad so he goes back to the end and he's crying his ass off because they kick him out the castle i was so happy about that because that scene had me dying in the light now and in the anime it had me dying too but that's when we cut to like chris coming there and him and chris they finally are just like yo we need to go to the castle because she finally gets cosma just to agree to go to the castle and that's when we get the castle scene which boy the castle scene was so good i'm so happy they adapted it amazingly because we got to see like how cosma was being a horn dog when this man was leaning up against chris's chest and this man kept leaning against him until the guards all caught him and it was so goddamn funny but we got to see them go through the castle and they were taking niggas out left and right i'll say the second time he goes to the castle i will say he's on one the next time he goes to the castle i will say that there's a way better castle like fight that happens in a different light now i forgot which one it is but this one was really nice just seeing him and chris show off all their thief skills so that was fun that they did that and it was a lot of funny moments especially like when it came to claire and claire was trying to attack him but he uses drain touch and then like claire's freaking out like what exactly is happening and it was just funny because cosma after he drains claire's energy he's going after all the other guards and it shows that he's in his bag and that's when you have guy with the big magic sword cosma ends up freezing him because like the dude thinks cosma's going to use steel and cosma does not use steel so there's a lot of funny moments here and he ends up like put and the funny hilarious moments that this man fills his guy's whole belly up with so much water that he technically should have been dead so yeah there's a lot of funny moments in here and him and chris are just in their bag until they get all the way to iris's room and that's when you have darkness and all of them and darkness figures out right then and there she's like she knows that that's Cosma and that's Chris and they're freaking out so they shut the door on her that shit had me rolling and then of course Aqua big drunk ass had to undo the bind even though you know darkness was having the time of her life with the bind and then Magnamine's freaking out because she's like "Ooh, she's like those guys are so cool and both of them use steel and that's when um Chris gets what she wanted but Cosma got something else he got a special ring and that's when we cut to like darkness basically yelling at both of them and then she's like oh you have to take this ring with you to the grave because that ring means you have to like give it to your significant other so Cosma has to hide it and so you know he's freaking out and he's just saying sorry and that's when we get to claire and iris and all they're just talking about like yeah them noble thieves from last night they actually are really cool and she even says yeah the one with the silver hair was the coolest so you know she does that just to mess with cosma because she also we could say maybe she knew that that was cosma too and the last thing we see that's from this light novel that they did put at the very end of the episode is that we see the one fat noble guy you saw that he has a demon and just know this is going to be very important for the next five episodes that we're about to get because they're going to cover light novel seven and light novel seven is a very interesting light 
right now because that's when you know darkness is gonna get married you could say and there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in that one that i cannot wait to see animated just know i will be most definitely making another video covering the last five or last six episodes of the season because i have to talk about light novel 7 because light novel 7 is really good i actually enjoy that one a lot a lot and i can't wait to see like how they adapt certain things because i'm just saying they're gonna fight a hydra in that one and that's about to be crazy though but yeah have y'all been enjoying the first six episodes of season three of konosuba let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments if you've not been enjoying just put it in the comments if you read the light novels are you happy that they're been adapting this pretty good because in my opinion it's been adapted pretty well and i've liked all the things that i've seen because they've pretty much have shown everything that was important from this light novel yeah there might have been a few things they might have left out majority of the stuff that they maybe might have left out was really not that important to the story but all they got all the key points and they adapted it pretty amazingly in my opinion though and i just like seeing all the stuff and i'm just so happy konosuba's back and especially because we're finally getting these light novels adapted because there's like what 17 light novels and you know we only get two light novels adapted per season so you know we don't get to see everything but at the same time because like i'm not mad because konosuba's light novels are actually pretty short and it's like we get five episodes to actually fully adapt everything that's happening i'm not mad about that so i'm happy but yeah i can't wait to see what the rest of the season is going to be like especially like how they're adapt light novel 7 and you know episode 11 is going to more than likely be an ova that we might get later because that's how all the other seasons have been is that we get that episode 11 a little bit later and it's usually like an ova so i'm curious to see like what this ova is going to be about like what they're going to do in episode 11 though but yeah if you enjoyed konosuba let me know how y'all feel about the series so far if you enjoyed the video why not like if you didn't you could dislike subscribe if you really enjoyed but yes i'm really looking forward to konosuba a lot because you know it's one of my favorite isekais of all time and i'm so happy it's airing this season along with like reincarnating as a slime so we got two of the best isekais of all time in my opinion Aaron at the same time so you know we're getting peak isekai throughout the whole week so I'm so happy about that though but yes let me know how y'all feel about Konosuba season 3 though but thank you for watching I'll see you next video though bye also Cosmo was so goddamn hilarious in a lot of these scenes and also Cosmo was wild because that man was being a very wild horn dog but we know how Cosmo is we know Cosmo is always very very horny though